good morning. This is going to be a different good morning because I have, this is Sonia and Sonia and Sonia, Sonia with me and we're driving to Springdale to return this trailer. So I didn't tell you guys about this trailer. I purchased this trailer March the 11th, I'm sorry, April the 11th. And they could never get me a title, so I couldn't get it tagged, so it's not like I could really drive it. I had never driven it anywhere. And I had to put a hitch on the end of this van, which was a little more pricey than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking around 400 It came in at 799 I just wrote the check for 800 I'm like, keep the dollar, okay? <laughs> it's easier on my accounting. So... I finally got fed up with Tractor Supply because they would, wouldn't get me a title. This was April. So I went back to my credit card statements, hunting where I had paid the $999 for this trailer. Uh, so I could tell them, I either want another trailer or I want the title to this trailer. Well, when I bought the trailer that charge was on my credit card and it was for more than a week the charge was not on that credit on that april so i looked through may so i looked through june <laughs> i'm like oh so that they had pulled that money back off so here i am sitting with the trailer that i haven't paid for without a title i said i'm not paying for this trailer so i called them i said i have this trailer you didn't charge me the lady said oh yes we did i said well lady you can either argue with me or you can take your trailer back I'll give you your trailer back, right? She goes, oh, okay. So she looked all through her April receipts and only found one trailer that was sold, and it wasn't this 5x8. And then what? I've got a 5x8. So we're taking it back today. So in the meantime, because time is not mean, Tim and I go to Farmington. What was that, last Saturday night? And we picked a in the exact same trailer and I paid for it and I got a title we're pulling it home and someone had put the lug nuts on backwards and the trailer's doing this the whole way home it should have only been a 45 minute trip it was way longer than that but my wonderful husband figured out what was wrong and as soon as we got home he fixed it this trailer's pulling really good don't you think yeah so we are Oop. <laughs> oh, that made us dark. Get a light back up. There it comes. Uh, so I just thought it would be fun to have Sonia answer some questions. Now she has no idea what I'm going to ask her. No. Do you lean over just a little bitty bit so, so they can see you. Okay. So when I did this with Granny, I actually did it like that so they could see Granny. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20. <laughs> She just had a birthday. Has the world changed in 20 years? Yeah. I mean, from my experience, yeah. How so in your experience? Absolutely. Well, phones have evolved. Oh, phones <laughs> absolutely have evolved. Technology, yeah. um, cars. been with me working for me now? Uh, <laughs> last fall. So last fall I worked three months, three or four, and then I've been working with you since March. Yeah. She took January and February off. I didn't know where she was hiding. Tell them what you were doing. I was getting my CDL. Isn't that exciting? So when I get a big hunk of hunk of burning love, $150,000 home on wheels, she can drive it because I ain't driving it. <laughs> I can drive it. I know. God is preparing. God is preparing for our future. My dad has had the same idea. <laughs> well, mine is going to be set up to haul dogs, okay? Not people. So much. His or children. Yeah. We could put the kids <laughs> in a crate. <laughs> you could. They're adorable. They may not be a They're adorable. Ethical. Legal. Legal or Legal. ethical. No, they're great. The kids are great. So... Tell them how we know each other here. 
Um, she was my dad's Sunday school teacher, and um, in fifth grade. When fifth grade? I think he was in fifth grade. I didn't know now, how. He, I thought he was, was a teenager. He, I think I worked with you just as as a teenager. I did work with you, so I think I was Charles's fifth grade. His fifth okay, grade. that sounds about more. Yeah. Anyway, and so for. The, before I was even born, they knew that they wanted to name me after you. They tell me that all the time. And I am so blessed. So, so we went to the same church. Well, we started there in 1982 when Tim and I married in the summer of 82. When were you born, honey? 2002. 20 years later. There you go. So I have lots of memories of your dad and his brothers. And... Some good ones too, I hope. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So her dad's brother, Fred, is the one responsible for some of my really nice breedings to outside males. He did the deals for me, so that was really a good thing. In other words, he's helped me a lot. So I've been family friends for a long time. So I'm going to ask you some things about the kennel. The kennel. So what did you think and now what do you know about what I do every day? Um, so like everyone, I think uh, you just think of all the fun stuff that you get to do with puppies. So I was just like, oh, we're going to get to play. We're going to get to take pictures and videos. Um, but now I know that there's a lot of work that goes into puppies. Um, the cleanup is a big part of it. Uh, the first few weeks are kind of rough because you have, you know, puppies and you have to feed them and, you know, there's, there's, yeah, it's a lot of work <laughs> and a lot of paperwork, uh, computer work, um, keeping everything in order. That itself is a lot of work. So you just think of that the fun things and that's what I was thinking of, but we do have fun. We do have fun. Yes. Yeah, like playing with them. That's the fun part for me. Like I got to sit and play with them today and they may be bitey, but <laughs> they're fun. So you've been to two dog shows. Did you help me in April April at our show? Or did you stay? Yeah, in Fayetteville? Yes. Yeah, I helped in Fayetteville. Okay, so what people see on TV is nothing like what happens at a dog show. Not, not, nothing. Yeah. So tell people a little bit of the work about going to a dog show. So, yeah, there's there's a lot that goes into the dog show because you have to have, you know, plenty of crates for the dogs. You know, you can't just have them out all the time. Um, it can be kind of stressful when you're, like, new. <laughs> for me, it was kind of stressful, like, not knowing what's next, but... Um, so you have your schedule and, um, they can see me. <laughs> uh, a lot of work does go into a dog show. Um, you have to be prepared and, you know, transporting the dogs is one thing, but then also transporting crates and, uh, crate covers so they don't, don't bark at other dogs and, uh, so you have to be like focused on the dog but also where the dog is going to stay during the show and um, it's crowded <laughs> it is very crowded so there's people everywhere so you have to get there early to get a good spot for your dogs and do you walk five miles a day walking dogs do i anybody if we do, have, oh yeah if we have a dozen dogs at the dog show yeah oh yeah when i went to the show with your sister, I walked at least like 10 miles a day. Mm -hmm. Easy. 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 <laughs> Lots of steps. You definitely get your steps in. <laughs> we get double steps in. Double steps, yeah. So we're headed out in two weeks. Tunica, um, Mississippi. Tunica, four day show. So we'll travel Wednesday and we'll show Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday and come back Sunday night. Right. Uh, and that's an away show, so you also have to prepare all your hotel and lodging and where the dogs are going to be. Luckily, we have a big arena at this place, so food, food, you have to pack your food, water buckets and water pails, yep. and, and then 
lot of preparing. What do you have to dremel nails and bathe? Take Bathing. <laughs> they love baths. <laughs> <laughs> About as much as they love swimming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, we. I just wanted to pop on here and do a little quick video. Q and A. Yeah. Q and A. Anybody have any questions for us <laughs> out there? Right. What was that? No. <laughs> no questions. Uh, no questions. Uh, we are good. So we uh, just crossed the river. We're about to tractor supply to get this trailer back. So my sister said, well, give me the trailer. And I said, well, even if I gave you the trailer, you'd have to go up there and pay for it. I'm not keeping a trailer I didn't pay for. <laughs> she needs to get all excited about a free trailer. Like she needs a trailer. She's got trailers. She's got three or four trailers. She's got a trailer, 16 foot, that hauls her little tractor and then she does not have a trailer that'll haul her back home. We have to pay for that. Then she has a lawnmower trailer, and then she has another small trailer. So, oh, and then she has an enclosed trailer that we pull when we go to the dog shows with all of the crates. It's a totally enclosed. It's really nice because it's got a ramp, and we can run oh, up yeah. and down. And that y'all took that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to do that this year because it's summertime, and we have the air conditioners on the back. Yeah. Got to keep it cold. I mean, cold. When we were driving to Benton, you didn't do, Lily did Benton with me. Right. We had on our earmuffs. We oh. were freezing. The dogs were comfortable. We were literally, I had on a raincoat over several shirts, over, yes, we were very cold. Bundled up for winter. We were totally bundled, and it was June, the end of June, I think, was Benton. No, it, no, was, it was the end, end of May. May. It was yeah, because we... We're thinking about that one. Yeah. It was hot in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. But we weren't hot because we had to have the air on so to blow all the way back to the back of the magic bus. Okay, we're going to sign off. Thank you for watching. If you have any dog <laughs> questions, we live with dogs. We might be able to help you. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right.